Hello fight fans, we're going to box in block sitter guys. Yeah, 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 guys. If you're new to the channel, click the like and subscribe button right now, man. Uh, support the channel. And if you're already uh, subscribed to this channel, I beg, I beg, I support now, I beg, I beg, click the like button right now, I beg. So, Joseph the Dreamer Parker has signed with at the end of Metro Boxing. In my opinion, this is very impressive. This is amazing. This is elastic. This is fantastic news because, I mean, Joseph Parker. Is that Parker? <laughs> well, let's read what Eddie Hearn of Metro Boston posted on Twitter. He said, I'm delighted, though, let's say, delighted to, call, to work on former heavyweight world champion, Is that Parker, to the Metro Boston team. Returns to the ring June 29th in Pro Providence. At just 27, this young man has a big future in the division. At Days On and Sky Sports Box, and according to what we heard so far, listen. Parker signed a three-fight deal with Eddie Hearn of Metro Boxing, a co-promotional deal. Where's David Higgins? David Higgins, I don't know. Uh, people have been saying that David Higgins is not a new manager of Joseph Parker. That could that could be the case. I don't know, but I, I feel like David Higgins have done a lot. You know, has actually. You know, made he actually made Joseph Parker what he is today because a kid coming out coming from New Zealand becoming a world champion under the guidance of uh Eddie Higgins is something very interesting, you know. I mean something I applaud. But Eddie Hino, signing with Eddie Hino of Metro Boxing and of course today's zone and Sky Sports, you know, that is just another level. Joseph Parker is a guy who is well known in the UK, you know what I mean? So the UK fans actually like Parker because he was in a very interesting fight against Ilian the Bodice and Shawar here. He's fought uh, like three British guys. The first fight against the very top boxer was against Yu Fury. Uh, he defended his WBO title there. And uh, yeah, after that, winning against the Unified Everywhere King of the whole Gundam universe, whom he lost to. On points, and then after that, got in against the end of Boris Nashawat, whom he actually lost as well. So, but he redeemed himself by defeating Alexander Flores, you know, blasting him out of there, actually showing his level. Barker is still a very young man, 27 years old from Auckland, New Zealand, very charismatic, very gentle. Yeah, he says some things surprised about Joshua, but I think he did that during the the bit up to that fight just to kind of hide himself you know what i mean so he's a father he's not gonna just give up but he knows that and the unified working of the universe is on another level he knows that i mean parker is still very young 27 years old i mean he's a former world champion you know he's for the likes of andrews jr and then the body snatcher white alexander dimitrenko who he naturally knocked out you know what i mean um the same guy andrews jr for last Parker is a very interesting fighter, you know, fighting the guy, the likes of Carlos Takam. That fight against Carlos Takam was a war as well, and people had you that, hey, that fight against Virginia should have been a draw, or maybe Virginia kind of, you know, hazed it a little, a, a little bit, but I think that Parker won that bout, but hey, that bout was close. On the scorecards, but Parker won it. Or oh, you can actually say Ruiz won it. I don't. I don't actually know. All I, all I, all I know is that <clears throat> that was a heavy bout, man. I actually rewarded that bout his money. It was very sudden. It was very elastic. It was very fantastic. And I have to go rewatch it again as well. I think later I would do so. <laughs> Parker, the former WBO heavyweight champion. The Dreamer has linked up with Adriano Matter Boxing. Now Adriano Matter Boxing is going to take it to the next level. Parker won the rematch against Dillian uh, uh, White and Anthony Joshua. You know, Parker wants the best fights. Do I think against Dillian White he will win the rematch? I don't know. I feel like he might, but I don't really know. But we know that 
in the later rounds, Parker started to gain momentum and actually was could have actually stopped Dylan White in the twelfth round. We know what happened. With Dylan White won about, and uh, that rematch would be something to watch out for as well for the future. I don't know when that will happen, but right now, Parker is now part of the Matrim team, Matrim family. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be very interesting to see. Parker could have already or, or signed with uh, uh, him, but he didn't want to do that because he felt like he hadn't had uh, the global appeal. You know, the zone is all over the world. PBC isn't, isn't, you know what I mean? America is just a small country compared to the rest of the world, man. America is so damn small. Yeah, they have a, a huge market, but America is not a, the center of the world, you know what I mean? So, America is a very good country, by the way. Uh, beautiful country and uh, Parker currently trains in Las Vegas you know we, we the last time we sent a picture of him was against uh, we, we tested no with Tyson Fury I think they are good friends and the Parker believes that Fury might be the best of all because of his movement and of course the, I can understand he's your friend man you're gonna actually side with Tyson Fury but you know deep down that Joshua gets Fury problems and might even knock him out you understand I'm not and I the fact that uh, Fury isn't a good fighter, I think it's a very phenomenal fighter, definitely a phenomenal boxer, but he knows what the Unified Way King of the Universe did, with, did to him inspiring years ago when the Unified Heavyweight King of the Universe was still nervous and, uh, and, and amateur compared to now, he's improved so far, man, compared to how he was back then, man. So, Give it to us below, guys. I mean, the Underwater fanboys, BBC fanboys, Shooter fanboys are gonna be peeing at themselves right now, saying, like, so what the hell? How did that happen? You call it here a devil, you call it here all sort of names. This guy keep uplifting the sport of boxing, this guy keep, you know, going to different places, you know what I mean? Invading places that I don't think BBC will ever invade, you know what I mean? So that's just how it is. I mean, I like the fact that boxing. It's beginning to grow very fast. You know, I, I'm a I'm a huge boxing fan, man. I've been a huge boxing fan for a god, you know, goddamn long time, man. So, you know, I would like to see the best for the best. I'm tired of all the politics people are playing. I'm tired of it. I want to see the best for the best. You tell us below, guys. Like the video, share, and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. As usual, go follow me on Instagram at Boxing Block Center. Follow me on Twitter at Boxing Block, and follow me on Facebook at boxing blocks and right there man just search go to facebook search search for boxing blocks and you you see me right there stay blessed stay blessed stay hungry stay humble cheers